Youngins, it's time for another edition of Cooking with Dewberry here at the Flying Biscuit Candler Park. And this time, we're going to make a simple little dessert that you can whip up in no time and impress the relatives. Come on in. And whenever it happens to be the height of berry season around your house, I'm from Florida originally, so of course the best strawberries come from Florida. But don't tell California that. Um, you want to make berry desserts. Berry desserts are easy to do, they're quick to impress, they're almost always delicious, and they're really the magic of nature. So we're going to make a strawberry blueberry crumble, which is going to go over vanilla ice cream. So what I'm doing here is just chopping up the rest of the strawberries and we've got our little blueberries hiding, just a little prettiness, you know. And then we're going to make, we're going to thicken it a little bit is what we're actually going to do. And by thickening, I mean we're going to add sugar because while strawberries are, are um, delicious, they're not super sweet. So we want to make sure that this is going to be sweet enough, you know, to cut the richness of the ice cream. And then we're going to add a little bit of lemon and my big secret for any fruit dessert that I ever do is a little bit of vanilla flavoring. So let's just cut the last couple of these and we can get this started. It's really a quick thing to go. You can do it last minute and throw it in the oven just as you sit down to eat. Ooh, I lost a couple. Get in there. Here we go. It's like two more babies. We don't want to leave anybody behind now. All right, so here we go. We've got our bowl and we've got our sliced strawberries and our whole blueberries. No need to crush the blueberries. The heat of the boiling in the oven is actually going to break those up. So you just want to leave them whole. And then we're going to add just a little pinch of salt. Remember, salt's a great equalizer in any dessert. If you, have, if you don't have salt in it, it's not going to taste right. There's going to be no balance. It's going to be nothing but sweet. There's not going to be a little bit of life sour to make it complete. Then we're gonna have a brown sugar, which is, you know, really kind of a trick. Brown sugar is actually just white sugar with a little molasses added. Mm, still delicious. Then you can add cornstarch or you can add flour. I'm using flour here because it's just half what I happen to have on hand. Anything to sort of thicken those juices so that when it goes over the ice cream, otherwise what you're gonna have is something that's gonna be very much like water. So you kind of have to play it by ear and how fresh your strawberries are. If your strawberries have been sitting in the grocery store for a little bit, I'd cut back on the flour. And then vanilla flavoring. Nobody will know. Then we want to add just the smallest touch of lemon. Lemon, like the, um, the salt, is going to add a little bit of complexity, but you don't want to add too much. This isn't a lemon uh, meringue pie. It's just a little bit of something extra. And I don't have a spoon, how about that? All right, so here we go. Mm. Just give this a little stir. You wanna make sure that the sugar and the salt and the vanilla and the lemon are all just distributed through the berries. There's no rhyme or reason to this and it's not gonna make a difference. It's all gonna get distributed evenly well because when you put this in the oven, the boiling process will move everything around. So in my pretty little blue bowl, I'm gonna add the berries. And just even it out. We're going to set that aside and make our crumb topping. All right, so let's make our crumb topping. A crumb topping is the easiest of all of your toppings to make. It's delicious, it's quick and it makes everything just a little bit better. You can throw it on muffins, you can put it on fruit like we're going to do here. It just is a multitude of beautiful things. So inside the crumble is going to be roasted pecans, brown sugar, a little bit of flour, oatmeal, butter, and this is unsalted butter, and then we're gonna add just a little bitty pinch of salt to bring it all together. And then we're gonna put it together with our trusty pastry blender. If you don't have one of these, go out and get one today because you're gonna use it forever. Mm -hmm. 
Put everything in your bowl. You can go ahead and put the butter in there too, it doesn't matter. It's gonna go in there anyway. Okay, and then we add just a touch of salt. It doesn't have to be a lot, but remember salt adds complexity. And then with your pastry cutter, you're gonna work the butter in and you're gonna sort of work it in. You're gonna just keep crushing that butter up. And so you can sort of turn it around a little bit. What you want to do is just work that butter all the way through all of your ingredients. And occasionally you're gonna have to sort of push it off a little bit, it's okay. This isn't serious work. All right, so here we go. All of this has worked together. Now, if you don't want to use all of this, you can take what you don't use, put it in the freezer, well covered, and you can add that to something later, like blueberry muffins. So sprinkle it on. I'm gonna use it all because I'm greedy where this is concerned. I want as much crust as possible. If there ain't enough crust, I don't want it. And see how beautiful that is? This is a simple rustic dessert. This isn't a dessert that you would serve to the richest of company necessarily. That would probably be mm, something fancy like a cobbler. But this is just, ooh, we are letting all the juice out. Don't wanna do that. This is just that homey dessert that you can throw together in no time. So let's get this into the oven. It's gonna go for about 30 minutes mm, because this is a thick um, bowl that I have it in. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to heat it. And then we're gonna get our vanilla ice cream scooped up and it's time for dessert. All right, so we got our two lovely mounds of ice cream, which are quickly melting under this heat. I must be too hot for it. And my trusty, trusty, trusty little hot pad. Let's get the crumble out of the oven, and we're gonna let it cool for mm, just a minute to stop the bubbling, and we're gonna put it right over, and it's time for dessert. Let's get it out. Okay, so we've let this cool for a few minutes because you want it to be able to thicken up just a little bit. But if you look, you'll see that the fruit has cooked underneath this beautiful little crust that has pecans in it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scoop it right over the ice cream and it's gonna be good to go. If it's somebody's birthday, put a candle in it and light it. It ain't gonna melt any quicker with a candle than it would with that. So our little, we can take that off because I'm kinda tough. I'm just gonna break this up a little bit and scoop it. Oh, and see how hot and beautiful that is. See, all that fruit has cooked and all that sauce has thickened up. This would be really good over your yogurt in the morning if you like sneak a serving and nobody knows that you hit it, which I would do for myself, you know. And actually, since there's only two things, I have extra yogurt topping for in the morning. So there we go. And see how pretty that is? You could also, instead of the ice cream, you could do whipped cream, you could do a little bit of heavy cream. You could do heavy cream stiffened with a little bit of cream cheese, powdered sugar, and a touch of Mm, I would probably use almond flavoring if I were to do that. But this right here is one of those desserts that people are gonna talk about for a week after they leave your house and wanna know how you got so smart. Mm. So good. Get plenty of that beautiful fruit on there. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. You don't even need wine with it, but if you happen to have a little red wine, red wine and strawberries, oh yeah, it's time to go. And then when you're done with this, you can tell people, it's time for you to get out of my house and go home so I can go to bed, y'all. I'm tired of cooking. Enjoy your dessert.